tech road here. Well, we have a look at um, power over Ethernet checker. That's a cheap one. And it also checks if cables are, Ethernet cables are broken or not. It's quite useful. So here I have a power over Ethernet switch with an on and off button. A um, Ethernet cable for that. I have um, reserved one. One cable that we can um, <coughs> have an accident with to be able to test it. Test the cable um, conductivity testing, and then uh, I have this one here, which actually is an, is an. I know there's something wrong with this cable because when I changed it out, then everything worked. As it should. So anyway, let's get this open and see what we can find. Instructions will show what these are for. This looks like a power cable. some telephone or something. Okay, don't recognize all these connectors. That should be a standard AJ45. So, let's find some batteries and see if we can get it to work. So, I'm going to put the batteries in, so now it's started. And, um, now we should start. Okay, that's, that's enough. That's, you go backwards and forwards to select the function. So we can take the PoE first. And then it says the one should connect the cable between the PO switch and this one. And then um, click OK. Uh, probably should have connected the cable first. Anyway, let's see what happens. And what this should do is it should test the uh, PoE switch if it's standard or non-standard. Oh, 
was just giving one finger and I was jumping around. Shouldn't do that. No, it says they're ten. Okay, that's a bit confusing. So they said, so they say that is enter. Okay, let's try. No, no, I just went back to the main menu. Let's try again. No, but that's back. Oh, no, that was return, sorry. Why does it say press end? It's really even an enter key. Line KO is switch and watch the correct connect may fluctuate in voltage value will be displayed on the screen. At this time press enter to stop testing and the result will be displayed on the screen. Is OK then enter. Yeah, now we got a fluctuating. Ah! Ah, this interface is not clear. Non standard 54 volts. So there it's displaced the stars. Oh, yeah, I'll turn it off. have the mold selection and then we take this back which should be enter. Uh, okay is enter. Why did they call it return when it's not? And then we press OK again very firmly to get it to do the PO test. <laughs> Okay, that was a bit weird. Now it says that it's on a standard compliant power over Ethernet, which it should be because 802.3.at. Oh, well, let's do an engineering test and turn it off again. Turn it on again. Use OK to select the function, let it run for a while. Let me press again very firmly, and then it says the same thing. PoE standard compliant 802.3at. So that's good. At least something works. Okay, now I've got a. We're going to test the power. Measurement feature of this. So then I need to, so I took my Raspberry Pi 4, which should be a power over Ethernet device. Get some cables out of the way. Wait a minute, short circuit. And then you're supposed to put one cable in one port. of light. Oh wait, was there a jumper for me or Raspberry Pi? Oh yeah. Okay, I need to find out if I need to add a jumper to the, to the Raspberry Pi. Okay, I forgot. We need to have power underneath the hat for that one, so I'm going to have to use the magical video to um, 
purchase one and have it install. So I will leave that test for another day. Not well, video time, no time. In real time for me. Some other day. <laughs> oh, now I move on. This one. Connect that in there. Into RJ forty five. The device on. And then we just select the option of continuity. Result of the city crossover cube. And then we will um, test the so This one I was a bit not so sure if there was something with it. Okay, this is a direct cable, not a crossover cable, but it seems to be okay. So this is a patch cable. That's interesting. The thing is that most modern switches, they don't care what cable you use. I mean, if you have a crossover cable or a patch cable now, or all modern switches, they, you can plug them in whatever, whatever type of cable, it'll automatically sense it and just reconfigure itself to get the correct connection. Uh, it was in the good old days when you actually had, um, like, routers that actually needed to have a patch cable to the, um, to the, to the switch. But uh, those those days are well. That's interesting. So there doesn't seem to be any short circuits or missing connections. But this was doing intermittent failures. But uh, oh, looks like it's okay. But that's interesting. So anyway, we have a, a, a relatively long patch cable and um, a shorter crossover cable. And then. Let's see what kind of a test could we make from this one then. It would be easier to see in this one. I don't to damage that kid. And I thought I could sacrifice this one. So let's see if we can create a little accident here. Oh crap. It's gonna be oh dear, oh dear. There's a cable getting rust here. Oh that wasn't very good to do. That it's actually broken off. Yeah, I lost at least one of the cables. So let's see what it does now. So I'm gonna make any sense of this. says there's one. Oh, I don't know if you can see it. But it's like XX. So let's disconnect. modifying a cable. Oh dear, oh dear. 
it's getting damaged. Shouldn't do stuff like this. It's unprofessional. Okay, so um, so from the perspective of that meter, we wanted to. Um, Check if those two X's. It's still keeping it. One. Well, maybe it came off just now. Let's retest it. What the heck? We got a test. Okay. Oh, it shows two. I just want to interpret this one, one to three. Yes, there is two. This device is a bit hickory bickery. It, it doesn't uh, always update itself 100%, but now it's up to date. Now it shows that there's two breakages. And then I wanted to test from testing device perspective we wanted to create no accident oh dear that happened that wasn't so good yeah this is not really supposed to happen short circuit again let's see what happens Okay, now yeah, of course it goes out and then it comes back again, so it's showing four connected to four. Oh, it doesn't really know. But what would that be? I mean, would it actually be short-circuited cable then? Yes! <laughs> Sorry. That was my mistake. The wires came off. Anyway, so you can sort of see if, if you've got short circuited cable or if somebody's went and uh, cut your cable. And, and then you can see if it's a. Very easily see if it's a patch or a crossover kit. Not that that's so important nowadays anymore, but it's actually sometimes nice to just know. If, especially if you have really old, old, older um, routers and switches, then you might want to actually know do you have a patch cable or a crossover. Uh, so, that's good. So far, so good. more okay so now I understand at least this one that's the that one's for so just ignore the raspberry pi for me
55 volts, 0 0.05 amps, 2.5 watts. And then you can actually measure the power consumption of, of your POE. Power of reason and equipment direction on, the, on, the, on that. So, now we can um, do a little test thing here. Test it. So we have to take the switch and handle it. That's a bit inconclusive. Okay, it wasn't maybe not pushed in correctly. Oh, okay. So, loop back tests. Part of the test whether the loop back of the network cable that is connected to the switch is working properly. Connect the switch port or the loop back port enough with a cable. If the indicator is on, it means that the loop is proper. If the indicator is off, it means that there are problems in the loop. And loop testing will always on the screen. Okay, so let's just check to see if we go yeah, back into the room, into the switch. Another way of actually testing, well, more electrical testing of the functionality of the cable. So, anyway, that was that. And the only thing we really failed to test was the power consumption of a PoE device, which I actually don't have at home right now. But I may be following up with a PoE um, video later, so then uh, we can actually get some more stuff connected and do a proper, proper visualization. On. But yeah, I think that's a pretty cheap tool for um, not very much money and can give you peace of mind when you're suspecting broken cables and, and what the type of the cable is and, and are your PoE devices getting voltage because that we couldn't measure just to plug it in and, um, and you could actually find out if uh, you actually have any you know is your poe standard compliant or not and is it actually feeding anything and i think that's the um the key No. Oh. Yeah, if one would actually put it in the right port for testing. Sorry about that. Yeah, when it comes to the correct test. So anyway, yeah. Well, I don't know. I, I could recommend a device like that just for simple um, installation test. And um, yeah. So if you like this video, um, consider subscribing. Um, hit the bell icon. You might actually be able to see the power consumption test also on this one. I'm going to be ordering the um, power of Ethernet uh, hat for the Raspberry Pi. So maybe I'll just make sure. Maybe I'll, uh, no, I'll probably do it in a live session. So follow my, um, no, I do a live stream pretty much once a week, so I might include it in one of those. So uh, yeah, follow me on, on those. And I also record them onto YouTube, so you can, you can uh, catch
catch me later. And I mean, tell other people about this if you feel that other people are struggling with, you know, questions about cables or if they work or not. And of course, when one's doing it on the table like this, it doesn't, work. you know, it's not so crucial. I mean, normally speaking, I have cables and walls and stuff. And, you know, you know, forklifts run through your cable stack and stuff. And it would be nice to have a simple device just to be able to do, do the basic checks. And um, one hint I can give you, or also which has helped me in um, tracing down cable faults, is that if you have a network that's not power over Ethernet, then buy a power over Ethernet um, switch, because what you can do is you can you can you can power these cables and use this device to um, try and locate the cable on the other end. Especially if you have multiple cables and you don't know which is which. Because if you don't have power over Ethernet running in your network, then um, the only cable that will indicate power over Ethernet is, the, of course, the one that you plug in. And it um, might give you an opportunity to find, or a more positive way to find the, um, the, the connection. Because, I mean, if you just, yeah, you could try and this disconnect and connect, and but then you might be disturbing quite a lot of traffic. Yeah. So that would be one way for a positive identification of a cable if you're not running PoE on it. Anyway, that was just the end of the video last hint and um, I'll see you in the next one.